Can you believe the Rose of Trulli is in its 56th year and Dahi O'Shea is back hosting for the sixth year in a row? We're here to find out about this year's competition. It's very, very exciting. Uh, we met all the girls for the first time yesterday. I'd met most of them before that. They're a great bunch. They have some fantastic stories. They have lots of stuff done in their own lives that they're going to share with us on TV. We have some great party pieces. We have some quirky ones as well. And there's no doubt between here and next Monday and Tuesday, we'll pick up a few more quirky things as well. My grandmother, she was really into the Irish heritage. She loved the whole thing, getting dressed up in the dresses. And because I'm originally from South Africa, she was like, oh, do you miss South Africa? And I was like, no, I don't want to. And unfortunately, she passed away last October. So I'm hopefully doing her proud. And yeah, so she'll be watching down on me, hopefully. <laughs> amazing it's one of the probably one of the only shows you walk out and there's, there's an amount of love comes up on stage to you that comes to for all the roses as well they'll have their own supporters they're going crazy and cheering them on but also everyone in the dome shouts for every rose and it's quite unique like that and is that he being a gentleman he is he yeah amazing yeah he, he, i know he's great crack and he's lovely he's great fun to be around and yeah. i think he makes he makes the tour and the festival that bit more exciting and fun so it's great to have him it really is like great. making memories for life and I just can't imagine what Trilly has in store for us and I'm sure the hospitality as well will be fabulous. Just to enjoy themselves, that's the main thing. It's an experience, it's a once in a lifetime experience. The TV show is only a part of it and just to go down and enjoy it and I always tell them no matter if they think this is great crack, wait till they land down in Trilly.